Okay, this is a, just a video about parts of a triangle, and I think you should probably uh, familiarize yourself with this um, before you do, we actually do any like real trigonometry or any math. Let's just get a feel for, you know, notation, the parts of a right triangle, and, and things like that. So here I've got a, a right triangle, and what you're going to usually see, um, you're going to see this... Um, Usually, notice the, the uh, well, first of all, for starters, notice that there are 100 degrees in a triangle, and um, there's 90 here, so, and then thetas, thetas are going to be used to denote a angles, but you also might see an alpha, uh, you know, a beta, you, uh, any, any variable really might uh, denote an angle, so, you know that's kind of how that is and if if you look at the points of the triangle um, the points of a triangle are usually going to be given to you in a capital letter and the sides are going to be uh, we're going to use a, a lowercase letter so you know if someone says to angle it um, angle CAB you know they're talking about this angle which I've wrote uh, theta 2 okay so now let's talk about theta two and um, what what they're going to talk about. Um, you know, you've got um, there's a different names for each of these sides of the triangle. So we're we're going to constant and they and they it, they all depend on which angle you're talking about. Um, the sides of a triangle are different uh, with respect to theta two as they are to one or this right angle down here. So let's just talk about theta two. And from the perspective of theta 2, um, side A would be called the opposite side. And that's pretty easy to remember because A is opposite of angle theta right here. Okay? Um, you could be, you could just say uh, little a is opposite of big size, it's basically just it's across the lake. If this was a triangle-shaped lake, you know, or or uh, some, whatever, It'd just be a, a, just uh, opposite. So that one's not too tough. Um, and then angle B, they're gonna call that the adjacent side. And adjacent just means next to, and that's a little harder to remember. Okay. Um, your, your, the easiest one to remember is side C, which is called the hypotenuse. Okay, and the hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. So I usually kind of, I just look at uh, side A and C, and once I've identified side A to be the opposite, and I found the hypotenuse, which is going to be the longest side, then I know that you know the last remaining side has to be the adjacent side. So, um, and that's kind of how that that goes right there. So I'm actually going to draw another triangle uh, down here, and we'll just kind of go over it again. And I'm just going to flip the triangle a little bit, okay? And it's kind of a sloppy triangle, but it'll 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 work. Um, it'll work for what's going on right here. So. Let me, um, here, here's another theta, here's, um, here's angle alpha, we'll call that angle alpha, okay, and then we'll have, same thing, we'll have A plus B, and we'll have C, so we have A, B, and C, okay, so pretty much the same deal going on, we have the 180 degrees in the triangle, um, let's also notice that um, we 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 can uh, we can find uh, actually I'm just going to write it over here. Also remember this. Okay, that's a useful piece of information right there, the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so now I'm I'm interested in, in angle alpha. Okay, now with respect to angle alpha right here, what's my opposite side? What's the opposite side? Well, it's going to be B. And we'll just abbreviate that with OPP. Okay. And the hypotenuse is still going to be C. 
Okay? So A has to be the adjacent side. Notice how this time it's on, it's, on, it's on my left hand side. If I'm looking at it from here, it'd be on my left. You know, kind of like right there. I'm looking from here, it's on my left. Whereas on this one, we're looking at theta 2. Well, it was, it was also on the left, but so, so I redrew it. Okay. Now let's take a look. Now let's look at angle theta. Well, with respect to angle theta, it looks like... C is still going to be the hypotenuse. Um, A is going to be my opposite side. Okay. And it looks like B is the adjacent side. So the adjacent side is now on my right-hand side, right? With respect to theta. See, here's opposite is A. Hypotenuse is C, so B must be the adjacent side. Okay. All right, so we got that. So let's see here. We know this is a nine. Let's take another bit uh, piece of information about this triangle right here. We have a 90 degree angle right here. So, so if I was going to sum everything up, it looks like one uh, 90 degrees plus theta plus alpha should equal 180 degrees, shouldn't it? Okay, um, that should basically, um, you know, that, that should be a, a note as well. You know, we don't know what they are, but we do know that everything should total up to 180 degrees. So, just kind of going over things again, just kind of a recap. Um, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. We know that. We know that a triangle has a 180 degrees in it. And we, we know how to name the, the different sides of the triangle, okay? And we've also went over some notation, okay? We've went over some notation, and it basically says they'll use capital letters for the uh, points that make up the, the edges of the triangle. And the sides are usually going to be labeled with uh, lowercase letters, if we don't know what they are, okay? So... Yeah, it looks like we got some things uh, to kind of work with right there and just kind of review this and before you know it, um, this will all be stuck in your head, okay? So, it looks like I have a little bit more time and I'm actually going to draw another triangle again and we're going to talk about theta again, okay? So, here's A, B, C, C, A... So, um, let's kind of go over something called, that's an H, the Sokotoa mnemonic, and this is uh, just going to, it's going to represent a couple things. Now, we'll go into this a little further in the next video, but this is basically what all this means. This is just a Sokotoa, and it's just a little mnemonic to help you remember that sine over, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, I got that right there. Cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Notice the C, A, and the H. Okay, and then Toa, tangent, equals opposite over adjacent, and there's where the Toa comes in. And let me go ahead and just do it to the sign. And we're going to kind of, and, th and this is kind of, um, you know, just, just a little um, icing on top of the cake as far as just like parts of the triangle and everything. So, um, looks like we got that taken care of. Uh, review the video if you need to. Um, kind of take notes and stuff like that. So, I will see you in the next one. Thanks.